चंद्र कुमार बोस ग्रैंड नेफ्यू ऑफ नेताजी सुभाष चंद्र बोस अनुज दार ऑथर एंड आर्टिया एक्टिविस्ट ऑथर ऑफ इंडिया बिगेस्ट कवर अप विच इज द इन्वेस्टिगेटिव बुक इन टू द डेथ ऑफ नेताजी सुभाष चंद्र बोस सिंगल मैन आर्मी लुकिंग इन टू दिस केस अमन सिन्हा सीनियर एडवोकेट ऑफ द सुप्रीम कोर्ट एंड अमी आग्निक माई फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज टू यू अमी आग्निक नाउ फॉर फॉर वंस टू नाइट प्लीज बी a citizen of this country and not just a congress spokesperson it is possible to be both but today you must put citizen first and congress spokesperson second and therefore don't overreact but understand what i'm saying you see so far the charge against you against jawaharlal nehru was that he was spying on netaji bose's family okay second came the revelation that Indira Gandhi destroyed several critical documents related to the death of Netaji. Point number two. Now it's very serious. Now the accusation is of embezzlement, of stealing more than fifty kilograms of gold. You have a lot to answer: spying, destroying evidence. and now embezzlement ami agnik what is the what was the congress party congress government doing at that time please i am glad that you have told me to be a citizen first and so i would like I to answer you first as a citizen person, but and then citizen as a congress as well, person yeah. no of course of course no i am glad and i would just request you arnav that let this be a debate and making of some points rather than having a shouting match because of late no, too much shouting the viewers can't get match, what but is going i i want on. you to understand yes, that no, you can't question the authenticity yes. of the documents no, I will, I will. these documents Please. these documents are marked yes. secret they bear the seal of the government of india they are official correspondence between india's liaison man in tokyo and the ministry of external affairs there is a note by the ministry of external affairs bearing the name of rd sate and under secretary in the ministry of external affairs and in fact i have a signature of jawaharlal nehru as well i know the nehruvian brigade will not like I it am, but ladies and gentlemen I watch this i am not controverting any One of those second, i am not let me complete and show jawaharlal nehru signature ladies and gentlemen i don't know what the congress has to say any more now i'll point it out to you here 511151 5th of november 1951 may I start one second you may start but this is jawaharlal nehru signature and sat is joint secretary and jawaharlal nehru knows all about this stolen money to be he was the prime and minister of the country what does jawaharlal nehru do so there has to be what some signature what does jawaharlal nehru do he promotes the man who is accused of stealing the money right anuj yes indeed it's, it's i think it's a case of high treason i mean i don't know what treason high treason by who? treason high, high treason, treason because the secret money uh, collected by indians in south asia for the indian freedom struggle and it was meant for freedom struggle and then is stolen the government is aware who are the people concerned and what our prime minister does is to like you know he promotes this man keeps him in a, is office as an advisor this is high treason pandit ji's complicity is proven, i think proven beyond high any treason by, 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 by it is high, tre high treason by the people concerned who looted the treasure and uh, complicity of pandit nehru because he he kept his eyes shut on this high treason why why was this done now? what was the whole idea the, the, the idea because you know, if, your, if he were to yeah. if he were to actually question these people mr rama murthy and mr ayer uh, mr ayer was i think privy to information that subhash had not died and he had gone to russia okay. in fact he gave a secret report to pandit nehru which has vanished now so he was very clear that netaji did not die in any crash this whole thing was a hoax and he had gone to russia so the only reason why pandit ji kept his mouth shut because if he were to clamp down on Ami mr Agri. ayer you know you know mr ayer would have gone public with the story uh, that i mean i understand how how damning these allegations are against uh, jawaharlal nehru because uh, the whole thing what what is being said here by anuj who investigated the case in quite a lot of detail is that nehru could not have spoken about it had he opened his mouth then these people would have revealed the real story of how netaji died so both sides were helping each other nehru let those people run away with the loot and in turn they kept shut about where what netaji knew and what he didn't know ami agnik what's going on here please i mean the whole this is really going to damage whatever what's is left for? of nehru's image yes now either whatever i whatever is left of nehru's image you give the answer to uh, mr anuj no i'm saying this is going to destroy whatever is left of nehru's image i, I that's all i said please continue stop stop maligning our national icons and you please understand so nobody is above question including jawaharlal nehru i'm sorry this nation has had you many icons me. including bhagat you singh and, and netaji you and me netaji was also a national icon of this democracy for the congress the party may not have been icons have made the country 
Don't stop maligning, please. Let us have an argument with this. Stop maligning the national leaders who built this country, and we are sitting here because of them. We are sitting here because of them. Nobody is maligning anybody. Just we are sitting here because don't have a fear psychosis. So I think face the fact. These documents were created by your own government. These are not documents created by the Modi government. 1955. Who was the prime minister? Who is this person who is asking me questions? This question is Can being you asked to you by Anuj Dhar, who knows the inside out of the Netaji war chest loot, and I now invite Chandra Kumar. How come Kumar he knows? Who's... How come? How come he knows when the when the documents are not declassified? How does he know when Mr. Rajnath in December 2014 has said that they will not classify the documents? What is talking about? How irrelevant. What is she know? talking about? All irrelevant. There stuff. are no documents that are de that are declassified. You should ask the government to declassify the documents. Everything will come out. Order. Order. Are you, are you, are you, are you nervous? No, I will have to come in now. Are you nervous? She doesn't know. She's just shouting. I mean, she just said, "I mean, nobody should talk." How did he get these documents? They're not declassified by the government. And the government does not want to declassify. Despite no repeated reminders, no shouting. Please don't shout. Despite repeated reminders of three heads of missions in Japan, the the then Congress government of the day did nothing at all. They kept sleeping over, you know, this national treasure, so to speak, because you know the ordinary Indians had contributed generously to INA to enable them to fight this armed freedom struggle. And instead of inquiring into what What happened then into the this missing national committee. treasure and then where did it went away? Commission. It was not and only you know some uh, some money and gold money. which was lying there. Yeah, it was people's sentiments were attached, and this is how the Congress Party now. kept sleeping over it. The Congress Party of the day, the Congress government of the day, led Not the nation down there. It is extremely, it's absolutely crystal clear from the documents that you are showing and all the evidence which has been adduced in the public domain right now. And it is torn up. The Congress spokesperson also, in a way, is admitting to her mistake by not responding not to what Congress party did at that no point in time. Instead of instead no of saying that they out. they committed a mistake, they no committed a blunder. She only goes on to question the document. BJP. It only goes so, on to reflect that an admission on part of the Congress spokesperson I that they indeed committed you. a blunder. I I I, I, I sense tonight a lot of nervousness. One minute, ma'am. Please, one minute. Ami Agni, no, no, why, no, why do you appear so nervous tonight? Of the documents will be the Miss, answer. Miss Ami Agni, why will do you appear so answer. nervous tonight? Hear what she said. What's the matter? Why are you I'm so nervous? I'm not nervous. nervous. You the are truth feeling will nervous. come out. You are feeling nervous. Do you know the symptoms <laughs> of nervousness? Do you know <laughs> the symptoms <laughs> of nervousness? I'm not nervous at all. I'm following, <laughs> I'm following the line of investigation and I, I'm only coming from a point of view. I'm this coming from a, I'm, my perspective are, on this whole matter. One second, ma'am. Please, please. Can I also get Because Chandra you do not want to come out with the truth. You do not want to come out with the truth. Ma'am, have you finished? No, why did the Congress Party not come to, uh, not want I, to come I, out I, to the I, I, for I, I, past 50 I, 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 years? I, I request, I'll what get, were you I'll doing? Get, I'll get Chandra Kumar. Why don't you ask the President Prime Minister and the Home Minister? When you were in government you and you want BJP to do everything in five days, even without considering the issue of problem. Now, now, now. Why this selection? The Congress government of the day let the nation down despite repeated reminders of our mission. Aman, please, can I? They did nothing at all. Aman, can I please have Mr. Bose on air, please, with the pictures once again? Second, please, one second. one second, please, one second. Calm down, Ami Agni. Calm down. When the truth comes out, a lot of people will have, you know, will will be left looking a little sheepish. And I am sure that you are hoping tonight, Ami Agni, that you are not one of them. Now, if you happen to be one of them on that day, we'll see. Am I saying tonight that the truth will make you sheepish, Ami Agni? I am not. What I am saying tonight is that Nehru knew everything. This is the story, Mr. Jawaharlal Nehru. knew everything nehru knew about the embezzlement of the treasures mr boss he knew about this as early as 1951 there is a two page note by rd sate under secretary the ministry of external affairs he writes to the prime minister and the foreign secretary about it and i don't think i mean nehru may may in the views of the Con as far as the congress party is concerned the the india's history begins and ends with the nehru gandhi family that's their problem i don't think so my cop question is if nehru was such a great man then why why did nehru not order an investigation into the missing netaji treasure that's the question chandra kumar boss if yeah. nehru knew why didn't he act and instead What's of a, chandra instead kumar of boss chandra kumar, chandra, kumar that, boss, chandra kumar they kept snooping chandra over netaji's family for 20 years chandra kumar boss yes mr goswami i had mentioned in your earlier program 
that as and when these documents would be released, the classified documents, there would be tremors. There would be tremors felt all over India and worldwide. And that is exactly what is happening. You see, there was a concerted effort to suppress all documents pertaining to Subhash Chandra Bose and the Azad in Forge and the provisional government of Azad Hind. You know, way back on the 21st of October in 1943, the provisional government of Free India was formed and Subhash Chandra Bose took the leadership. There were thousands of people across Southeast Asia who donated funds, who gave their everything last down to the right, last penny for the freedom of their motherland. It is a shame that those, the treasure that was donated by fellow Indians based in Southeast Asia were looted, were looted by two couple of traitors of the INA. The names have been mentioned. There is no hesit hesitancy on my part to mention the names. It was Ram Murthy and Iyer. And when the part of the treasure was brought back to India, we have substantial evidence to establish that the treasure was brought to India and it was looted with the knowledge of the then Prime Minister of India, Mr. Nehru. Now, yes. what I would like so to say... Nehru was complicit in the looting, that's what you're saying. Why no, didn't no. they inquire? Why didn't they inquire? I can understand Mr. Nehru had certain uh, limitations. He wanted his political rival, Subhash Chandra Bose, to totally away, you know, from India. He did not want, even in the history books, the names of Azad in Forge, the heroic battle of the Azad in Forge soldiers. You know, 70,000 strong army yeah, fought that, for the army freedom of this that. nation. 25,000 lost their lives. All this is not mentioned in any history books that is taught in the curriculum here. Now we would like to state, I have, we have had a discussion with uh, our pres uh, Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modi ji on the 9th of this month at Calcutta. And Modi ji has clearly stated that, ye, I, we told him that the people demand that we declassify all documents so that the truth is there, to, you know, we can put forward the truth in front of the nation. Now, I would like to quote from what Narendra Modi ji stated. He said, Aap bol rahe, aap ye desh ki mang kiu bol rahe? This is not the demand of the people of the nation. This is the duty of the nation to declassify all the files. 130 files are there with the central government. 64 files are with the West Bengal government. All these files have to be declassified. It is not only the files which are there in India. We have to now declassify the files internationally. We have to declassify yes. the erstwhile KGB files. We have to declassify the files yes. which are in China, in the yes. Soviet Union, in, the chi in China, in Japan, in also the UK, the MI5 files. No, also see, the CIA must, files have Mr. to be taken Bose, into we account. Must. In no, we totality, must, Mr. Bose. In we totality, must, Mr. Bose, we have and, to declassify feel, feel all somewhere. the files to get to the truth. No, I feel somewhere, Mr. Bose, I agree with you, there is a thorough conspiracy to remove everybody except the Nehru Gandhi family from prominence in the writing of Indian history. And the Congress party gets very touchy if you ask any questions about the Nehru Gandhi family. It's almost as if it is treason to question a member of the Nehru Gandhi family. Please, even the royalty in the United Kingdom was not spared. And they will not be spared here. And by the way, the Nehru Gandhi family is not royalty if it thinks so. It should really, you know, reassess things. The fact of the matter is, Ami Yagnik, I know you're a Congress person and therefore your first loyalty even more to your, than your party will be to the Nehru Gandhi family. But my question to you is this. In his letter of which I have a copy in 1951, R.D. Sathe provides a breakdown of the gold that was recovered from the plane crash. Okay, there's about 80 kilograms of gold which was originally there. As per him, only 11 kilograms of gold was recovered from the plane crash. The rest, le rest was left behind in Saigon, right, uh, Anuj? Yes. Yes. Only 300 grams of gold and 250 rupees in cash were handed over to the Indian mission in Tokyo. Now, my question to you is, Nehru knew about it. Nehru read the allegations. Why did he not order an investigation? What was Nehru scared of? Did Nehru feel? That if I go after the thieves, they will expose me. Yes, that's precisely the point. Did Nehru feel 
that if I go after the thief, the thieves, those who robbed the money, they will expose me. Was this the fear of the first Prime Minister of India, Ami Agnik? First, there are three committees, three investigations. You please look into that after the 51 letter of uh, miss, which you are referring miss. to. No, no, I, I know, I know, so, no, no, even, even the first committee the also talks committee about uh, the that were, something <laughs> went wrong with the treasure. The Either second commission also talks about a little bit. No, he can answer and you can answer. You can no, have because a she's talking, but which is beside the point. Because the he first says you don't know enough about you, she knows nothing. She, the first committee the, was headed by congressman. The second commission was headed by Congress party sympathizers. I don't want to hear about this, Mr. G D Costa and the Shandwas committee, please. Please, let's not talk about Congress people here. The first committee was headed by a Congress party man. No credibility is uh, you know, it's of that, that person. The second commission was headed by G D Khosla, who was a psychophant of the Gandhi family. What do we expect from, from such people? So it was all fixed, you are saying? It was fixed, obviously. Third, co third commission, Justice Manoj Kumar Mukherjee, that is a commission, that is a report, which this, 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 this Congress government in 2006, they rejected in parliament the without giving any reason. Can you Justice think of that? Kaju. Without giving any please, reason? Please, please, We're please, living please. in a democracy? You're rejecting a report about the death of a... Of a, of a do, you, do you realize how serious... Do you, do you realize without how serious... giving you, a reason? Ami Agnik, do you realize how serious this issue is becoming so and become? And can become I because there are allegations of a biggest cover-up. Do you know if there, any of these allegations have any truth in them? And if it is true that Netaji knew and did nothing, <coughs> then do you know the entire Indian history and the, and the history of, of, of uh, uh, around, if, uh, around Jawaharlal Nehru will have to be rewritten? That Jawaharlal Nehru's role in India's political history will be rewritten if some of what is being insinuated here comes true? And I think that is what is making you nervous. Now tell me, Ami Agnik, in this, the government of India responded to K.K. Chetur's concern. The Prime Minister himself was made aware of his letters to the Ministry of External Affairs. There is a letter written by B.N. Chakravarti. You can hold it up. B.N. Chakravarti to K.K. Chetur on 26 June 1951. He writes, and I quote, Prime Minister, that is Nehru, has written, seen your letter and also the photostat copies of the letters you sent me. Now the Prime Minister desires we must take interest in this matter. Please hold it up. I would request you to make a confidential inquiry and try and ascertain every Indian in Japan says Ms. Ramamurti became rich almost overnight and there is some truth in their allegations. This is huge. This means that Nehru knew and had a suspicion the money was stolen. Yes, but he wanted a confidential inquiry. Nehru, who you say is the paragon of transparency and virtue, wanted a confidential inquiry and not a proper what, public what, comprehensive what? one where was nehru's commitment to national interest Anna, what, what has, was nehru trying to hide ami agnik Anna, i'm sorry what, what what has transpired in the last two what months, was nehru up to ami agnik nehru was worse than i think richard nixon here i mean, I mean nixon just me sent some people to answer. stoop around now this man was using his establishment to stoop on people so it's worse than watergate what has happened what has come out in last one month is worse than Watergate. do you have no answer tonight ami agnik I have all the answers, but you don't want to listen to them. You only want to listen to, to one man who has come out with this note as an RTI activist. He is doing, you, you he know is nothing. maligning all the national leaders. <laughs> this is not RTI. This is not RTI. No, this is magic. And of course, you listen to me first before you start jumping into every answer. Don't, don't shout. Me. But then don't shout. Please, please, please talk. But don't shout. You are shouting. Yes, yes, don't shout. But you don't interfere, please. Okay, go ahead. 1951, India has got independence. After all, these national leaders have fought for the independence which, which of country this country. Got independence? 1947, she got independence. 1947, she is so out of her mind. The, the, She's the, the national leaders are building up the nation. Today, you are sitting here on the debate because of that democratic, democratic country. What do you mean by that? Is, the, is, what, is, what is she talking about? Are you saying free independence is the gift of the Nehru Gandhi <laughs> family? <laughs> that Did Bhagat Singh have no contribution? Did Netaji have no contribution? All national leaders. All national leaders. And did millions of others, faceless, nameless leaders have no contribution? Did Gokhale have no contribution? <laughs> did Lokmanya Tilak have no contribution? Did Lala Lajpatra have I no contribution? Take all the names. You should know history. Did the INA have no contribution? You should know history. Please don't speak in a manner that of makes me feel that you feel that the independence we have is a gift of the Nehru Gandhi family. I will still ask my questions. Why did Nehru do nothing? 
What was the what was Nehru afraid of? Mr. Boss, I want to come to you. Is this is this proof that the government was afraid of letting the no, cat out of the bag? <clears throat> that if you if you followed the money trail in this case the cat would be out of the bag on what the circumstances were of netaji subhash chandra bose's death mr mr chandra bose you are hearing this defensive response of the congress your response you see mr nehru you see i feel that uh, you know no individual is bigger or greater than the party i think the congress party should come clean if certain individuals who are leaders of the party have committed a crime i think they should be exposed they should be exposed by the party itself now it is sufficiently clear with the evidence that has already come forward that mr nehru suppressed the truth of subhash bose's disappearance he preached and spread the fake air crash theory basically to benefit his leadership in india he went to the extent of conniving with the people who looted the ina treasure the thousands of people who have donated this treasure for the freedom of the nation not for looting by certain individuals now this is i think he has betrayed he has betrayed the nation it is not a betrayal of subhash chandra bose or the bose family it is a betrayal of the nation and such people should be put on trial today because it is the soldiers of the azad in forge who fought the final battle for india's freedom this is not my words this is told by lord clement attlee who was involved with the transfer of power who was the prime minister of great britain it was because of the azad in forge battle was because of the ina trials that india attained its freedom no no uh, so again going back going back to the key point the no no Congress going back government. to the key point Going back to the key point, Aman Sena, I think I think I would like to get you and Ami Agnik on this because a very critical point. The person who probably robbed the money is a person called Ayer, some Ayer, right? Mr. Ramurthy, Ayer and Karan. Okay, Tegis. okay. Now, now please listen to this part. It's very important. Ami Agnik, don't be on the defensive. If Nehru did this, you should accept it, and you should in fact demand a reassessment of Nehru's role and an investigation into the role of Jawaharlal Nehru. Why are we putting him up? you know so high up on a pedestal that you can't question what he did if he did this it undoes a lot of the good that he ever did and we will have to rewrite indian history from a non nehruvian perspective yes and my question at this point is to aman sinha and ami agnik yes sir no you know you know mr sinha <clears throat> mr sinha please there is one letter attributed to the prime ministerial secretariat and bearing the name of a certain jawaharlal nehru and it is dated september 26 1951 which has nehru acknowledging that he met met this man a year about his visit to japan now what i find incredible is if this document is authentic it is and it is right if this document is authentic we all want to know why was nehru having secret meetings with the man who probably robbed you know who stole or probably stole the ne the 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 ina treasure in the first Arnab place why the, was nehru having a secret conversation with that person the evidence Aman, that Sina, you please, have and then ami agnik will respond the respond. evidence that you have clearly reflects that the actions of the congress government and the then prime minister was uh, mr nehru was extremely suspect and suspicious and the way you know this kind of cover up was going on and if you read it along with the fact that the then government the then congress government spied on netaji's family for two decades yes, they thereafter did. in mid 70s uh, the indira gandhi government they destroyed two very important files uh, from uh, you know th this was also revealed in some rti response that two very important files pertaining to this were destroyed by the pmo headed by um, uh, mrs indira gandhi at that point in time and it goes on to reflect that the congress party's actions on this uh, subject on this aspect of history are extremely suspect and serious and uh, the congress party and th at that point in time surely betrayed the nation and led the nation down by not inquiring into this treasure which was not only some money and gold which was a national treasure which Ami had Agne. sentiments of people of the country who had donated generously for fighting this armed freedom struggle against the british colonial rule now if this is all true ami agnik would you demand that from our indian textbooks that when children read about who did what role in indian history before and after our independence that there should be a reassessment of nehru's role 
maybe and maybe a reassessment no, of netaji's so. role this is stretching too far and taking it too far why you are why am i all the national leaders who build this i am not i am questioning no, 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 please, role. i am not insulting anyone no you are getting too far you know don't what try you mean to I'm write getting too far i am questioning them in a democratic is. country it the role of nehru in this case into this and declassify declassify the documents and you will get the answer you are giving, giving going too far and that also with an if if this notice true if this letter is no, authentic this government is considering the issue but so why did congress talking? party so run away from declassifying no, no, it there be declassifying only because why did you destroy the files up. in 1976 77 when indira gandhi was the there two, two why did the congress congress gov then congress government destroy the files what did you want to hide what did you want to gain by snooping and spying on netaji's family for you two decades you don't ask all these important national security questions why why should we not ask should know that much. why should we not you ask you should know the procedure how to ask a question to this government please you ask please. the home minister all these questions the, and you will you get know, an the answer. congress spokespersons no the congress spokesperson no, has no, no, no argument no, 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 at, at all she is totally the giving all the appalling this, arguments this is, and she doesn't understand that instead of answering the question the on a, for past half an hour we have been laboring on this she has not given one point in response to the questions think, that you have posed I think, I think, and that clearly goes on to reflect that the congress spokesperson herself she thinks that it's all a blunder and she has nothing to add on this i think there should be a reassessment i know this will be controversial but i say there should be a reassessment into the role right. of ne of of jawalal nehru in this whole matter uh, it is impossible that jawalal nehru's role his findings his conversations his meetings his signatures his interest his travels all point to one fact jawalal nehru had an unnatural interest in keeping this matter under wraps why did he do so and and why should we raise jawalal nehru to the level of be, being an icon where we say we can't question what 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 he did anymore if jawalal nehru was instrumental in doing a disservice to an equally if not bigger national well, icon bigger called netaji subhash chandra bose we will have to reassess the writing of indian history and put netaji subhash chandra bose along with bhagat singh on the pedestal they so greatly deserve what who have been denied i thank you very much the time has come to do that for joining me on this very important subject on the news hour tonight